Hey guys, I'm Thomas from Cheryl VP, and today I'm gonna walk you through my brand new rig with my Blackmagic 6K and all the components on it, ready for action and ready to film. So I see all these YouTube builds, all these people on YouTube, they come up with these rigs, but there's always one part I don't like. They either use the cage or they come up with this gimbal that I have here. I'm gonna show you both versions. Every one that I find always has a follow focus system. That is something that I've always seen on all of them. I don't understand why you need a follow, follow focus system if you're using uh, a handheld like the small rig here, and I'll show you that. We're gonna start over here with this rig right here with the Ronin SC. This is for a future film that I'm doing uh, called The Mannequin. We're working on the script. We're actually about to start filming, and that's what this rig is for. It is for uh, action shots, shots that are gonna be shot in vehicles, uh, stuff that needs to be stabilized, running shots. See, I had the Ronin SC for about a year before I got this camera. Um, so I've, I've had it, in fact, I had it for a little over a year. It was small, compact, and uh, the cheaper option other than the Ronin, S, the Ronin S, but it was a very large system made for a little larger cameras. And the motors on the SC was at, new at the time. It was supposed to be, you know, bigger and better. But the problem was it wasn't fitted for large cameras. And then I ended up with this Blackmagic 6K, which is considered a very large camera. I looked up on YouTube. I tried to do as much researching as possible to see if the Ronin SC would actually work with this camera by any means and everything that I found pointed to no. I watched people actually put the camera, there's a video out there, if I can find it, I'll put it, the link in the description, uh, you can find it, where this guy puts it on a Ronin SC, and it just flips out. It has a big problem. Now, I got the camera. I put it on here with no, I have a counter mount on here now for all the extra stuff that I keep mounted on top of the camera, but the, the, the Ronin SC actually works with the Blackmagic 6K with no, absolutely no counterweight. So that's our Ronin SC. It's got the follow focus motor on it. Of course, the follow focus motor for the, the Ronin only works with the Ronin. You can't take it off and apply it without the Ronin, which is kind of a bummer. So coming up from the Ronin, we have the UU Rig arm here. And I'm gonna just go ahead and say UU Rig is one of the best companies that fits with small rig and just camera rig stuff in general. They make tons of stuff and it's affordable and it's beautiful, it's quality. This arm right here has a beautiful finish over it. It's got this perfect little lined up finger grips, put your fingers in there and it actually is positioned perfectly where the rig is almost level. You can hold it with one finger. And this is a heavy rig with all the stuff we have on it. I think it was like a $28 piece here. And this is all metal. This is beautiful metal. Just it attaches to the side of the, the Ronin SC here and gives you some ports to apply some stuff on, which is where we're going to go next. First, we have our juice box. Love this thing. This thing is universally just perfect for every rig you could possibly think about. I don't know why it looks like it would get in the way of everything, but it doesn't. It, the way it has set up, it just, it, it's perfect. This is a 95 watt hour battery from Juicebox. It's got a little display, shows you the percentage and everything on it. It lasts about two hours of record time, 6K on the 6K Blackmagic. And it comes with this little, I don't know what you call it. It's like a miniature, miniature mount, miniature, uh, miniature V-mount. I've got this juice box cable here, DC uh, cable coming over to the battery, keeping it charged all the time. It's not a dummy battery. It actually just hooks into the side of the camera. Now over here we have our counterweight, UU rig counterweight, and this counterweight is exactly the same, if not better than small rigs counterweight, but literally $10 cheaper. 100, it came with uh, 300 grams of weights on it. I only used the 150 grams. On top of our camera, a small rig SSD mount. 
The small rig SSD mount has a T5 SSD Samsung drive in it, one terabyte, and that on top of it is Velcroed to a wireless receiver that I use for a boom mic. It's a wireless boom mic, and this is that was like one of the most expensive parts in the whole rig. Um, X Valve, I believe, is the name. X, X Vive. This is my boom mic uh, with a Rode microphone that I do not know the name of. Um, the microphone I'm using on this camera, by the way, uh, that I'm using to record the audio, also attaches on the UU rig arm over here, right here on the side. I'm using my microphone to point. There's a cold shoe mount that it mounts to for ambient noises. So on one channel, I record with the boom mic, you hold over the actor, actress, whatever. And then you have the other channel linked with this, the microphone that I'm using now, and it captures better ambient surround kind of, uh, uh, of sounds. So it gives you a kind of overall feel for the audio and you can change it how you like it. You can take one channel up, bring the other one down, post edit or whatever you need to do. But uh, X5 is a beautiful product, uh, wireless transmitting uh, XLR audio over a hundred feet. And it has two hours of battery life, which is another great thing. And that's about it for the filming rig. That is what we are using. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna rip it all down, strip it all down, and I'm gonna show you the small rig version of that, my simplistic version, my run and gun version of what I like to use. All right, now we're gonna break down this rig and put it on our small rig. Uh, our, uh, our smaller rig on our small rig cage and uh, show you what the lightened up feel is like. Uh, you're gonna, I'm gonna speed this up so you can try and guess how long it actually takes. I'll, I'll tell you how long it takes in the, uh, I'm not gonna make this a speed run. I'm just saying, uh, I'll, I'll tell you how long it takes when I figure out how long it takes. So I, I'll, honestly, all you need is uh, your two DJI Allen wrenches and then the one they give you with the small rig cage, which is very nifty. I love that about small rig. They're very innovative about storing tools where you're gonna need them, when you're gonna need them. So I've got the rig locked up, ready to go here. So now we just got to, uh, now we just gotta do it. The unscrewing and screwing of these small parts here are, is probably the most time consuming thing. It, the battery can't be that bad, right? It's horrible. These things get in the way of everything, but I'm leaving them on there. I'm trying to be strong and not just cut them off like everybody else does because I like taking care of my ports. I love how this camera looks outside of the outside of anything. It's just so it's so pretty. If you could use this by itself and make it, you know, usable and not have such an issue with batteries and audio and storage, that would be great. I think that's it. I think we're done. Minus our external monitor. I'm waiting on a RE mount. I'm gonna put on this side. So this will, my little monitor will attach right here. So that's your handheld filming set right there. Um, the way the way this thing is set up though, 
I, everybody that I see, like I've said, has a autofocus system where they can put their, their wrist right here or if they're really, really they've got way too much money, they have a, a hand grip right here with a autofocus motor on it. And they're like Use your thumbs, use your index finger, you know? Oh, 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 oh. If you can't get a smooth pan with your finger, I mean, why is that? I mean, this is a perfect spot to hold your camera. That's why I love this. I don't, I don't have a cheese plate. I don't have arms. I don't have beams down here making it like three feet tall. It's a simple run and gun. And then you can use your focus. Now, so the only thing I'm, you're not seeing here is my microphone goes right here. Uh, So this is my Blackmagic Pocket 6K film run and gun right here. Beautiful, isn't it? Pancake lens on there right now, 24 millimeter. That lens is beautiful, by the way. I love this lens. It's such a crappy lens. It's such a cheap lens, I guess is what I'm saying. It's one of the cheapest Canon lenses you can get, but it's so sharp, so pretty, so perfect. Just the basics. We got the cage. Well, we got the camera. We got the camera. We got the cage. We have a battery, external battery. Again, love this juice box battery. It's been working great. Um, and it fits on like everything. It fits with everything. It's not like a V mount battery where you have to have a cheese plate, a V cheese plate and the rods on the back. So it keeps it compact. I just lost my ring there. My uh, Ronin ring, you know, you, you know, they keep the height down. You don't have to add a bunch of rods and things and the rods are so expensive. The, the mount, the quick release mount you have to buy is super expensive. So to avoid all that, I just bought the juice box battery and that saved me a bunch of money and it, it, it looks a little odd. It doesn't look conventional to like a, a, a V mount battery, but it works fantastic and it fits everywhere on this camera because it uses these screws that are all over the cage everywhere. So you could mount it anywhere you want. I've seen people mount it on the bottom and use it as a stand, which is completely pointless. It's simple. You've got audio, battery, and storage. And that's all you need. All right, so if you enjoyed this video of all my weird talking and messing around with all these odd parts, uh, like and subscribe. I'd love to do more videos about camera equipment and stuff. I do commercials, I do short films, I do anything and everything. I love making videos, that's my point. Yeah, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. If you wanna see more, just comment down below. This feel like a pirate, I feel like a, a clock. Or midget hand kind of looks like a midget hand.